Hey everyone, welcome to Studio SNC. Let's get started today lying down. So make your way down onto your mat and place your feet hip width apart. So knees and your feet are hip width apart. You're resting the feet down, arms down by your side, tuck the chin and then draw your belly button towards that lower back, melting the lower back into the floor. Find that Pilates connection. So zipping up through those lower tummy muscles from your pubic bone up towards your belly button. Finding that 30% lift that you can hold throughout the class. Take one more breath in, really press down with that lower back. Exhale, float your right leg into tabletop. And then float the left leg into tabletop. From here, the knees and the feet join. Feet in Pilates V if that suits your lower back, so heels together, toes slightly apart. But if it doesn't feel okay in the lower back, you just squeeze those knees and feet together. From here, we inhale, reach our right arm overhead, extend the two legs at the same time, and then lower that right arm, bend the knees back into tabletop. Inhale, left arm comes over, extend the legs, fight to keep the back of the rib cage on the floor here, and then bend those knees in. You can go straight up towards the ceiling with those legs, or you can go slightly lower, feeling your tummy muscles really switch on, breathe in, and breathe out. So working on your coordination here, but mainly this is a challenge to keep the back of the body glued to the floor, to keep your tummy muscles engaged and learning to zip up through that core when you reach overhead. Breathing in, right arm lifts and exhale lower. Last time with the left arm, breathe in. And breathe out. From here, two arms overhead, legs are long, rounding or circling the arms around, lift through the head and the chest, hug the knees in, breathe in. Exhale, arms down by your side, hover off the floor for double leg stretch. Breathe in, hug the knees in, and exhale, stretch. So trying to get that reverse curl in, drawing the knees in as you peel the lower back up. Breathe in, hug the knees in, breathe out, stretch and extend. Breathe in and breathe out. Last three here. Extend those legs. Two more. Extend and then last one. Breathe in and breathe out. Stretch. Bend the knees, feet to the floor. Flip the palms, tuck the chin, allow the head to find the mat and then Press the lower back into the floor again if you've lost it. Inhale here as you exhale, peel up into a shoulder bridge position. So you're stretching through the front of the body here. Tuck the chin in if you've lost that again. Press down with the arms, take a breath. Exhale, allow the spine to find the floor. Vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly control, draw the belly button in, release that lower back. Breathe in, press the lower back down. Breathe out, push with the feet and lift up. Inhale here. And then exhale, release the spine down. This time we're gonna bring the arms into it. So breathing in, press that lower back down, breathe out, push with the feet and allow the arms to float overhead at the same time. Inhale at the top, lift a little higher if you can and exhale, release the spine down, allow the arms to naturally come down with that back and allow your hips find their natural shape. Breathe in, press the lower back down. Breathe out, push with the feet. Keep those knees steady. Allow the arms to follow. Inhale at the top. Lift a little higher if you can. Exhale, allowing your arms to naturally come down with the spine. Hips relaxed, arms relaxed. One last time like this. Breathe in, press the lower back down. Breathe out, push with the feet. Those arms lifting off or taking off as well. Inhale at the top, squeeze through the glutes, lift a little higher and exhale. You'll feel the upper back coming to the floor and the arms want to come along. Releasing the lower back, release the arms. From here, press the lower back to the floor. Keep the arms on the floor as you lift back up into your shoulder bridge. Reach the right arm up and then switch. So moving from the arms a little faster now, keeping that spine strong and steady. Movement comes from the shoulders, not the elbows, not the wrists. As you alternate, try and keep your shoulders away from your ears as you move. And don't forget to breathe. So keep your core engaged, breathing into the rib cage. Last time, over. And two arms come over now, entwine the fingers, flip the palms away, lift those hips a little higher, pressing the outer edges of the hands into the floor and exhale, release that spine down slowly. And with the arms overhead, you can really feel the spine connect with the mat 
and then release the spine into its natural shape. Extend those legs out straight. Breathe in, release the arms. Exhale, make your way all the way up into a seated position. Breathe in, reaching forward, tuck or scoop in through the core. Exhale, right leg finds tabletop as you roll down onto the mat. Breathe in here. Exhale, half teaser. So extend through that right leg. Lift all the way up if you can, but you can just do a sit up if it doesn't feel good. Extend that right leg, reach the arms up and over. Ground down with those legs as we make our way all the way up into a seated position for the roll up. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, that left leg finds tabletop as you roll down to the mat. Breathe in here. Exhale, half teaser on the left side. And one side may feel completely different to the other. So go with whatever side you're on. Inhale here. Exhale, keep the legs on the floor as you make your way all the way up. Breathe in, reach forward, tuck the chin. Exhale, right knee bends as you roll down to the mat. Inhale, the arms up and over. Exhale, bring it up or find a version that works for you. You can keep the knee bent if it feels too much to come all the way up into a seated position. Inhale, reach forward, tuck the chin. Exhale, left knee bends and we roll down. Breathe in, arms up and over. Use that HA sounding breath. <sighs> Control it on the way down. Breathe in, arms up. Exhale, make your way all the way up into a seated position. Reach forward, tuck the chin, inhale. Right knee bends as you roll to the mat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, pulse up. <sighs> Breathe in, arms over. Exhale, make your way all the way up into a seated position. Last time on the left side, breathe in, reach. Exhale, left knee bends as you roll down with control. Breathe in, arms over. Exhale, fold, come up. <sighs> Inhale, lower the left leg. And exhale, make your way all the way into a seated position. Widen the legs for a spine stretch. Bend the knees if you need to. Ground down with the sit bones. Inhale, stretch up, look up. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, feel the stretch. Press down with those fingertips. And exhale, rebuild. Restack, re-lengthen. Inhale, look up, reach up. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, fold forward and press the fingertips into the floor as you breathe in. And exhale, rebuild, restack and re-lengthen. We're only doing two more. So breathe in, look up, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Breathe in, feel the stretch, tuck the chin. And exhale, bring it all the way in. Breathe in for the last time, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Breathe in, feel that stretch. And exhale, bring it in slowly, controlled. Find your tall spine. Walk forward on your bum now and place the hands to the backs of those legs. Lift the feet up off the floor and we're gonna keep the knees bent here. So calves parallel to the floor, pull with the hands, feel the tension between the arms and the legs, keep it there. Draw the belly button in, breathe and roll onto your back. Exhale, come straight back up, see if you can balance at the top. Breathe and roll onto your back and exhale, bring it up. Massaging the spine, using your arm strength, using your leg strength, using your tummy muscles. The knees are locked into that bend. Breathe in, roll, and exhale, bring it up. Last two here, breathe in, roll it back. Breathe out, bring it up one more time. Breathe in, roll, and breathe out, roll it back. Join the legs together, roll onto your mat. Breathe in, reach the arms over. Exhale, extend the two legs up towards the ceiling. Two arms come to the outside of the right leg as if you're holding a ball. Bend the knees, reach the arms over. Exhale, outside of the left leg. <sighs> Inhale, arms over. This time, add a pulse. Breathe out, pulse, one, two. And bend those knees, breathe in, and breathe out, pulse, one, two. Breathe in, arms up and over. Breathe out, pulse. And inhale, arms up and over again, and breathe out, pulse. Keep those legs strong and steady, breathe out, pulse. One last time to the left, breathe in, and breathe out, pulse. Now either keep the arms overhead, but if you need the support, arms down by your side, bend the knees into tabletop, breath in, exhale, send the legs all the way over the head, and kick out through the legs as you do. And then slowly guide the spine down. When your lower back meets the floor, bend the knees back into tabletop. So let's breathe in as we send the legs over, kick out through those legs as you come over. 
and then exhale, slowly guide the spine down. And when the base of the spine, the lower back meets the floor, you bend those knees back in. So breathe in and don't worry if you can't get the entire back up off the floor or can find your way onto those shoulder blades. You can work on a reverse curl or you can try it out with your arms on the floor with that help of your arm and shoulder strength. Breathe in, legs over, exhale, control the movement as you bring it down. Bend those knees, knees over hips or maybe slightly closer to take away from the weight of the legs and guide the spine down. So with the arms overhead, you're not using any of your arm strength. It's your tummy muscles that are stopping your head from lifting, the weight of the legs from flopping on the floor, engage through the core. And bend the knees, let's do one more. So kick out through the legs as you go all the way over. Spine meeting the floor, vertebrae by vertebrae and release the hips. Bend the knees all the way in now. Arms come a little wide from the body here. Gently rock from side to side, massaging the spine on the mat. From here, the right leg reaches up towards the ceiling, flex through the foot and extend that left leg to hover. Pull twice here and switch. Keep the head on the floor, working on keeping the base of the spine on the mat while your head is on the floor. And then challenging your tummy muscles, your hamstring flexibility and mobility in the hips, pulling twice, flex through those feet, keep the leg muscles switched on. Breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the mouth. Now take hold of that right leg, hold it here, take a breath in, exhale, rock up into a seated position. Flip over onto your right side and lower all the way down onto a long arm. Place your left hand out in front, have a look down, you should be able to see your toes. And if you can't, move the legs forward from the hips. So having a quick scan up the body from the ankles, the hips, or your ankles are stacked, your knees, your hips and your shoulders are stacked. Place your left arm out in front, rest the head down and lift those two legs up. Find Pilates V if it suits your body and then reach up and over with that left arm circle for five. For four, so working on your balance here, three more, opening up through that left shoulder joint, two, and then one more time, breathing in, opening up. Change direction of the circle, circling forward or back if you went forward in the beginning. Full range of movement, don't lose that connection in your tummy. Two to go, breathe in and breathe out. Okay, we're gonna extend our left arm over, reaching up, finding length. Maybe the palms of the hands join here. Take three breath cycles or breathe in, fill up the rib cage, exhale out, breathe out completely, working on your balance here again. Two to go, deep breath in and breathe out, let it go. One more inhale and exhale, let it go completely. Place your left hand out in front and just roll gently over onto your belly. Hands coming in underneath your shoulders, point through the toes. Tuck the chin in here, melt the pelvis into the floor, breathe in, we peel up. Send your elbows down towards your hips, extension of the spine. If you can stay here comfortably, do, and float the arms up off the floor, squeezing your elbows in closer to your ribs. Now lift up the left leg, lift up the right leg, and then kick. So swimming with, from the hips here, toes pointed, legs are poker straight. Breathe in through the nose, see if you can lift a little higher, exhale out completely. Two more breath cycles, breathing in and breathing out. Last breath here, inhale and exhale it out. Hands come in underneath the shoulders, take a breath in, exhale, push yourself up and reach the hips back. Press the armpits to the floor here, maybe allow the forehead meet the floor and then bend your left elbow, turning your head slightly to the right, feel the stretch around that left shoulder blade. Lift the left elbow up and release the right elbow to the floor, pressing down, feeling that stretch around your right shoulder blade. Take one last breath in here and then lift the right elbow 
up off the floor. Take a breath in, lift the head. Exhale, tip forward into a half plank position. Transition into a full plank by tucking the toes under and lift the knees up off the mat. Adjust if you need to. Spin the inner elbows forward. Push into your hands to your shoulder blades apart and draw that belly button up to your posterior pelvic tilt, your tail between your legs. From here, we lower the right knee, lift it up. So you're just tapping left knee, lift it up. Keep those hips as strong and as steady as possible. Tapping, right knee, lift up, left knee, lift up. One last set, right tap and left tap. Lower the two knees and reach the hips back. Take one last breath in and then flip over onto your left side. So lowering all the way down onto the left side. Releasing that left arm, rest your right arm out in front. Have a look between or down to see if you can see your toes. And if you can't, you move the legs forward from the hips. So ankles, knees, hips, shoulders are stacked. Using that right hand for balance, allow those two legs to float up off the floor. Feet in Pilates V if it suits your body. And then we reach up and over with our right arm, circling, full circle. For five, all the way around for four. Maybe close the eyes or soften the gaze. Working on your balance. Two more here, breathe in. And then last one, inhale. And exhale, change direction of the circle, opening up from that right shoulder. Keep it going. Keep your tummy muscles engaged. Last one here. Now reach up and over with that right arm. Maybe the palms of the hands join together, squeezing your head with your upper arms. Take three breaths here. Core is engaged, inhale. Exhale it out. Two more breaths, inhale. And exhale out completely. Last breath, inhale. And exhale it out. Lower the legs, plant that right hand out in front and push yourself up, swinging those legs forward. Hands to the backs of the legs and roll down onto that mat. Allowing your body find a shape here, a position. And give yourself these couple of minutes. That's all it is to rest. So relax the body, close the eyes over and straight away, let go of the tummy. Send your breath all the way to the belly. Fill up with positivity, that inhale invigorating the body. Exhaling out, letting go, letting go of anything negative, any niggles, any pains, any stress. Breathing in, allow your breath in or your inhale to soothe your body. The exhale to release out anything holding you back. And now reaching your arms overhead, stretching those legs long if they're not there already. Take a deep breath in, reaching, stretching from both sides. Exhale out, allow the body to soften again. Do this again one more time, breathing in, reaching and stretching. And exhaling, softening. Sliding your feet in one at a time, drawing your knees into your chest. Slip the hands to the backs of the legs and gently rock from side to side. And then when you're ready, Breath in, exhale, rock up into a seated position. Well done, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.